Hi, this is Terry Grover from Terry Grover Computer Consulting in Portland, Maine. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make a great set of labels. These are going to have clip art on them, so they're going to be a little bit prettied up, great for invitations or holiday cards, lots of applications. First, I need a list of names. Today I'm going to create a list of names in an Excel spreadsheet. What I've done is create several fields. First name, last name, address, city, state, zip. What would usually go on a label? Of course, you can create whichever fields are applicable to you. And then go ahead and fill in the information just like this. Note that you can also use an Outlook folder of names or use Microsoft Access. There's even a very simple database built into Word. I'm going to go ahead and save this particular database and I'm going to close the file. Now I'm opening Word. I'm using Word 2016 blank document and this is for Windows. If you have a Mac or an earlier version of Word it should be quite similar. I'm going to go straight up here to the mailings tab and then I'm going to look in the ribbon for start mail merge and choose labels. Now you're going to see a box come up. I'm going to choose my manufacturer and then I'm going to choose the particular label number that I have bought. And in this case I bought 5260. Easy peel address labels. They're about three across and 30 labels per sheet, but match the package that you've purchased. Notice that Word creates a Word table on my sheet that exactly matches the dimensions of my labels. Great, we're ready to go. I'm going to select my recipients. Click Select Recipients. In this case, I have an existing list, so I'm going to use that existing list. It might be from Access or it might be from Excel. I could also choose from Outlook Contacts or type a new list right here in Word. I'm going to look on my desktop, which happens to be where I stored this particular list, choose it, and open it up. There's only one worksheet in that Excel spreadsheet, so I'm going to click OK. Notice the next record code. This would not print, but this is the code that shows up to show that every record will be the same. Now I need to decide what kinds of information I want on each label. Click Insert Merge Field. I'm going to click the bottom half of this button, put in my first name. Now I need a space, last name. Now I need to go to the next line, address. Next line, city, comma, space, state, space, space, and zip. If I wanted to, I could select this text and change my font, make it look any way I want. I think I'm going to keep this one just for now, for simplicity's sake. Now for the fun part, I'm going to click to the left of my very first field. Don't worry about this gray that shows up. I'm going to go to my Insert tab, and I'm going to choose Online Pictures, the new word for clip art. Since it happens to be May, I'm going to put in a tulip and enter. Look at the neat tulips that I can choose from here. Pretty cool. I kind of like this one with three, so I'm going to choose this and insert. Remember, of course, that if you have a photo or a file, you could have chosen picture instead of online pictures. Now in Word 2016, this wonderful little box appears as soon as I insert a picture. This is the text wrap box. If you don't see it in your version, look up at the top for wrap text. So I'm going to click my text wrap box. I want this to wrap square right around my, um, my clip art. So I'm going to get rid of this box and do you see what happens? Now it wraps perfectly. Click on this clip art if you want to change the size a little or even rotate it a little so it looks better. Now comes the most important part of this and that is to make sure that all of these labels will look the same. Back to my mailings tab, click update labels. And look at that, now everything has the same information on it. 
If I want a preview to make sure these labels are going to look okay, I'm going to click Preview Results. Look at that. Everything is going to come out just perfectly. So I'm ready to merge. Finish and Merge. Edit individual documents. Don't print from here. You want to look at them first and make sure they look right. All of my records. OK. And there they are. Of course, if my list had been a lot longer, I would have filled this sheet. And later on, if I do save this, I certainly can go back and simply type names in if I wanted to. But that's a little bit more work, isn't it? Thanks so much for listening.